hello and welcome back to this channel so today's video is going to be about drawing this illustration and you might think oh it's just a simple illustration what are we gonna learn in this but this is actually a step to learn so many things in illustrator for example we're gonna learn about live shapes and how you can use them you'll also learn about drawing inside and then you'll use so many different techniques in here that it'll be really helpful for speeding up your workflow with illustrator okay so let's just get started go to file and new let's create a 12 into 12 inches and in advanced options a cmyk and 150 ppi and let's click create okay so first we're going to start off with drawing the head of the pull so let's go ahead and click on circle or ellipse tool if you cannot find circle or ellipse tool right click and you can find the ellipse tool here so click hold your shift key on your option key and drag and make a circle about 2.5 inches it need not be like exactly 2.5 but you know approximately about that size and then let's go ahead and click and if you cannot see these pink lines you can find them under smart guides that is view and smart guides click hold your option key down and drag and make about 1.5 inches of circle use your arrow key to move this up a little bit okay i think this should be fine so i'm just going to click and select everything and now we're going to go to pathfinder that is window and then pathfinder so click on unite so it forms this really weird shape but we can now edit it now go ahead and click on your direct selection tool and you see this all these dots coming up so this is nothing but a live shape so you can edit things like click on this and you can see that this dot is selected hold your shift key and click on this as well both of these are selected now and click and drag outside until you form this kind of a shape so now we're going to go ahead and change the color of this element but let's go to our direct selection tool or you can press v on your keyboard now i'll go to my library where i have all my colors saved that is window and then libraries and click on aha uh -huh. it's on the stroke so i'll undo it by pressing command z go to fill and then click on yellow now it's time to make the nose so click on this click on drawing modes and click draw inside now we're going to click on the ellipse tool here and come about bottom of this face click do not hold your shift but hold your option and drag and make an ellipse something like this and you have to choose your fill color as brown and the stroke as blue color and by also this i have a thicker stroke here because it was pre-selected for me uh, but for you it might not be the case so you'll have to go ahead and edit this stroke so how do you do that you can go to window and then stroke and in here you can change this to four point or six point or something like this we can make it four point i guess so that it's much more nicer and now we can go back to this and say draw normal and we're going to go ahead and click on the main thing here and if you had selected stroke here and if it was thinner make sure you select four points here as well all right so your bull is almost ready except that we have to make the horns now to make the horns you're going to take a pen tool click hold your shift key and then click to make straight line and now press V on your keyboard to go back to your selection tool. And now we'll go to stroke. And in here, we'll keep it as four point. Let's check it later. And you'll see, I'll just pull it out for you. In here, you'll see something called as profile. If you don't see this, click on this button here and say show options. And here we'll select this triangle kind of a profile. And we'll increase the size to maybe about 40. Probably this looks okay. And I'm just going to increase the size by pulling this a little bit down. Let's go ahead and put it back here because we don't need it now. I'm just going to go back to my pen tool and I'll click here so that this gets reversed. Right click and anchor point tool. And now we want the horn shape to be something like this. So let's just do that. I'll just click on this. And as you can see, I can make it something like this. And then click on this and make it the opposite direction. So let me just show you once again what I do. I'll click on this and turn it to right. And I'll click on this and I will turn it to right again. And this makes kind of a horn shape that we need. So I'll just click and drag this. And if you keep here and if you use this to rotate, you can actually rotate it like this. So you can increase the thickness. Uh, let's try to decrease the height because we want something which is 
this small and this should go something like this and we want it a little thicker so I'm just going to change it to 60 and see how it looks I think this looks much better this looks fine and I'm going to go to fill and cancel this because we don't want fill now right click transform reflect now we're going to give vertical and then click on copy and this is going to make another copy now click hold your shift key and drag it so that it goes and sits like you know absolutely opposite of each other let me move this a little bit now if you want to make sure that everything is centered what you can do is you can click the horns together press command g to group them and click on this horizontal one and now you can click on the face and again click on the horizontal bar and you'll know that everything is in the center and pretty nicely arranged so i'm just going to click on this and ungroup it command shift and g to ungroup them so then now separate all right so we have this and now i want to show you one more thing if you want to create a ram or something like that so you just can click on this dash line and you get this pretty nice dashed structure as well but we don't want that so i'm just going to undo that and now it's time to convert this into a shape and we can do that by going object path and outline stroke and then now these two become outlines something like this as you can see it so we'll assign different colors to this and i'm just going to give this one a green for the fill but let me just switch this up because the outline should be that one and for fill let's give it green and for this one switch it up again and for fill it's going to be red and let's go ahead and click on everything both of them by holding a shift key and then let's change the stroke to four points because uh, that is what it is for everything else and now click on these two by holding your shift key command or control shift and open square bracket to send it to back but you see it has a really extra stuff coming out so i'm just going to click on rounded cap and rounded corner and uh, so that it takes out the extra stuff you can see here and then it becomes much nicer all right now it's time to make the eyes which is very simple that is click on your pen tool click hold your shift key and click and it forms a line segment press v on your keyboard to go outside and it's too thin i'm just going to go down and make sure it has a sharp end because that's how we wanted it and we're going to make it a bit thicker because i don't like it how thin it is and probably a little lower as well hold your show option or alt click hold your shift and drag and make a copy and let's group these two together by pressing command g and make sure it's in the center of the face and i think i want it much lower somewhere here yeah this should be fine and next up is the nose it's nothing but click on your ellipse tool and drag and make a nose and let's put this stroke as no and for fill let's give it black i guess and next up is the text that we have written so for text it's pretty simple but as you can see i've written it in a round format matching the circle so what we're going to do now is go ahead and click on circle and go to somewhere center of the circle click hold your option key shift and drag and make a circle a little bigger than the original circle now we'll switch this up so that it's stroke and we don't really care about how big the stroke line is we we know that now when you do this you'll see this special handle right here and if you move this you can actually move this like this so i'm going to move it so that only this path is visible rest of the circle just disappears so i'm just going to click on my selection tool and now here i'll go back to my direct selection tool click on this point here and click delete so that we have just this path and now right click type on path tool we're going to click here so that it sits on the path and we are going to give any text that you want to give now double click to select everything and we're going to choose a font the font that i've chosen is coronetta and we're going to choose a different size 50 60 should be good no 58 yeah 58 should be good and now you can see that it sits here so let's just try to move this you can always move this around like this so let's move this you see the handle right here i'm just using that to move it so that it sits somewhere in the center and you can click outside and your text is on the center so i'm just going to move 
not that but this handle right here so that it's a little i know i'm not too particularly happy about it so our text is ready and we also used one more small icon that is again the same thing click hone your option shift and drag and make sure it's almost towards the center of that let's change this and give this yellow color and obviously we're going to increase the stroke to four points or a little bit more because i like a thicker font and then let's change this up to something like this and then go to your direct selection tool and click on this and delete so that it gets deleted and go to your stroke and let's put round in the corners and this one we'll press command shift and open square bracket send it to back so this one i've given the color that is blue so i'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy the color and i'll just click on the text and double click and paste the color here and click OK. So this one, I think I want to make it a little bigger. 63 is fine as well. OK, and let's drag this a little bit so that it's somewhat in the center. OK, and this one, I'm going to change it to maybe seven points or probably even eight. Let's make it thicker so that it looks much nicer. And now I'm going to click on both the arc and the text and drag it a little bit down and also you can see it's not exactly centered so but we'll just adjust that and press command g to group them because now we can move them around however we want so i'll just click on these two and make sure they go a little bit inside count the number of steps so that you have them equally spaced around and you see one more thing that i made a uh, extra arc over here so you just have to go here click on the horn that you want to make this design on Let's go ahead and click on draw inside and here make sure you remove the fill and the color is given to the blue color. Click on this, click, click and drag to make an arc kind of a thing. And now we'll increase the stroke to maybe 12 or 14 or something like this and uh, press V on your keyboard to get out of the pen tool and click here and go to draw normal. And then you have your uh, stuff ready and now it's time to add the background so i'm just going to go ahead and go to my rectangle tool click and make sure it's center you can see the pink lines here which helps me that this is the center and obviously i don't want fill so i'm going to i mean stroke so i'm going to cancel this and for fill i'll give it my color that i've chosen this side is going to be red now click hold your option key down click shift key down and drag so that it makes a copy and snaps right here. And this one we're going to give green. And now click, hold your shift key and click and command or control shift and open square bracket to send it to back. But I think I'm given a different color for this. Yeah, here I've chosen a different color. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this horn this color and as well as this background as this color as well we're just going to make sure that we increase the size of this and there you go your icon or illustration is ready i hope you enjoyed this class and if you did please give me a thumbs up i know i was a little fast in certain stages but i think you guys are ready to have this a little fast paced tutorials and uh, i'm looking forward to seeing what you guys make with all the things that you learned today i'll see you in the next video bye